Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Son channel with Evangelicella. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please only like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This person, there is so much more to your life, you know. There is so much more. When I mean so much more, there is a lot to your life, you know. There is a lot to your life. And this a lot I'm talking about. It is great things. Great things, you know. Things that are very great. You are hurting because people that you were good to, they are the one that betrayed you. Like you were so good to this person. You can't imagine how the person just turned out to become a monster. The truth is that they have always been a monster. They were only pretending. You are only seeing the true color of whom they are. You know, people sometimes, they can pretend. They can pretend, they can act what they are not. So when you now find out, you are like, ah, is this person? I can't imagine this is you. I can't imagine this is him, this is her. So I understand that situation. I know how it feels. I know how it feels. But it is time for you to see beyond that hurt you understand it is time for you to see beyond that problem that betrayal you are a good person you must know that you are a good person even when the people that you are so good to when you need them they are not there i love a sister that god brought her across my path you know the reason why i love her she speaks the truth there was a day i was you know she just like evangelist Sarah. If you die, there are people who will not bring flower to your grave, and those people are the one that you are fighting for. He said, "You need to take care of yourself because I think that actually sometimes I overwork myself. I forget about my head, myself, my body, my home. I forget about everything, and I focus on trying to make sure other people are contented." They are good, they are satisfied. But the truth is that I know that human needs can never be satisfied. You cannot satisfy the needs of human. You can't satisfy the needs of human no matter how you try, no matter how much you give. So I am still in that process of learning to look after myself while taking care of so many things. So there was something that struck me in that conversation. He said, you still have a lot of time in your future for ministry work. You are just starting. There are still more to come, nation to nation, places to places and all of that. Don't end it now. And in the future, you will not be able to carry on the assignment. So this word stink into my head. That day I realized that there is more to my life. There is more, you know, that people are even seeing, that me myself are not seeing. So sometimes I have to put some things into consideration before taking decision, before deciding. You understand me? So you need to understand, I'm using that word to speak to somebody now, that there is more to your life. Look beyond those that you were good to and they let you down. Even the ones that you are still good to now, they might still leave you tomorrow. Who will live, will live. Who will stay, will stay. Build that mindset. Telling yourself, I know who will come and stay, we stay. Who will go, we go. You have to build that kind of mindset. Until you build that kind of mindset, you will not be able to achieve more than what you have achieved when you were cool with the same people that betrayed you. If it is forgiveness, I know sometimes there are people who struggle with forgiveness. Somebody, uh, I think somebody's comment one day, the person said, I will never forgive. I will never forgive, no. Not that the people deserve forgiveness, but for your own peace, in order for your future to be easy, for, for God to make life easy for you so that you don't start fighting with the accuser. 
the accuser of their brethren, the prince of power. So they don't start fighting with those that are accusing you of your testimony. You have to release yourself sometimes of some certain things. You are a good person. There is more to your life. You were the coolest person that they could ever find. But they lost it like that. They lost it because they allowed them, they refused to deal with the monster that is in them. People have monsters in them. If they don't deal with it, they will use it to hurt others. That is something that happened. They refuse to accept the monster in them. They refuse to accept the monster. First of all, they have to accept that there is a monster in them. Then they will not start dealing with the monster. When they don't accept, they will use it to punish innocent people. That is why you became a victim of that. Child of God, you were so cool with them. It is okay. There is more to your life. Leave behind that now and look into the future. There are bright things in your eyes that have stars upon your head that need to go forth. I pray that the Lord will help you to achieve more than you could ever imagine in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus, my dear. And I love you. I remain sister Evangelist. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.